Have you ever wondered if your actions unintentionally hurt others? Ever gaze into the murky depths of your troll pond and wonder, am I a good troll? Or just a selfish one, obsessed with shiny things? Fair not for today's trollish teachings, we will crack the code of selfishness. We will unearth the science and shed light on how to become a more balanced troll. Grab your torch because we are about to explore some deep, dark truth. Chapter 1 The Selfish Troll Now, trolls are creatures of habit. We like our routines, our caves, and yes, our mountains of treasure. But there's a fine line between enjoying nice things and being a full-blown selfish troll. Imagine a troll guarding a bridge and demanding $10 just to pass, which cause a total traffic jam, and that's not cool. A truly selfish troll only thinks about himself, never considering how his actions might affect others. Chapter 2 Signs You Might Be A Little Selfish now hold on a minute, just because you enjoy your alone time with a tasty slice of pizza, it doesn't mean you are automatically selfish, we all need some time for ourselves to recharge. The key is to be mindful. Now here's your special telescope to help you spot selfishness from a mile away. Do you constantly interrupt conversations to talk about yourself? Do you constantly put your needs? before others? Do you struggle to share your snacks? If you answered yes, well, these are signs that you might be a little too focused on me and not enough on we. Chapter 3 The Trollish Takeaway Shine bright and share the light. Remember trolls, indulging in your own well-being isn't a crime, but don't become a bridge troll Hoarding all the good stuff for yourself. Strive to be a radiant troll who shines a light on others. Share your wisdom, your snacks, and maybe even your slice of pizza. Considering everything, if you're still unsure about where you fall on the selfishness spectrum, there's another way to think about it. What if selfishness isn't a fixed trait? but the performance we put on. There is a fascinating concept called performativity that might help you. It explores how your actions can actually shape who you are. In another Trollish Teachings video, we will explore Judith Butler's performativity theory to find more about it.